The first Jewish footballer was somebody called um, Louis Buchmann, um, whose original name was Buchalter. Uh, this is an interesting thing in itself that the early Jews in football changed their names. For example, Leslie Goldberg, who played for Leeds United, changed his name to Gaunt. Um, and you don't have to be you know, a rocket scientist to work out why. Um, in, in the early uh, 20th century, having a, a Jewish name in public life uh, wasn't a good thing. And in show business um, and in lots of areas of life, Jews changed their name. So Louis Bukalter changed his name to Louis Bookman. Um, he was actually first generation and he came over with his family to uh, Ireland from Eastern Europe. He was part of the great wave of uh, Jewish immigration that brought in you know, thousands, 100 to 150,000, uh, who were uh, escaping the pogroms in Tsarist Russia. So you had these um, refugees from oppression coming to Western Europe, Britain mainly. Most of them, of course, went to America. But those who came to Britain were very much like Louis Bookman, very much uh, Yiddish-speaking, foreign-looking, um, had certain ways and habits which were seen to be alien to British uh, life. And Louis Bookman fell in love with football, and he became a footballer for a top-flight football team. So the equivalent of the Premier League back in those days, the first division, he played for West Bromwich Albion in the top flight, and he played for Ireland, and he won caps for Ireland. He was also a cricketer, and he played cricket for Ireland as well. So he was an all-rounder. And Louis Bookman was the first. The interesting thing with him is his parents disapproved of him playing football. Uh, a lot of his family never talked about it. And when I interviewed his daughter for the book, she said to me that uh, her mother never talked about her father's uh, football exploits. When he died, um, they discovered a, a whole raft of letters from a lot of people in football um, who were saying how sad they were that Louis had died. But his mother had kept them locked away for all these years. And it was interesting that the early Jews themselves disapproved of football. One person famously called it footballic. Um, you know, 11 people running around a pitch like Meshuggahners, i.e. mad people. Why do it? Why do it? Because, first of all, it's on the Saturday when you play it, and that's the day of rest. You shouldn't play, you shouldn't work. Second of all, why do it when you should be um, helping your family make a living? Thirdly, why do it when you should be studying the Torah? There are all sorts of cultural and religious reasons why Louis Bookman shouldn't have done it. And there was a final reason of anti-Semitism. And he was a pioneer. He was a pioneer who's never really been recognised as a pioneer. The first black player to play for England, quite rightly, Viv Anderson, recognised uh, as a pioneer. He was the first Jewish player to play for one of the, the home countries. Ireland then was part of the British Empire. And it's never been recognised. 